welcome back to my channel my name is Kaylin if you're new here and as you just saw I started off this beautiful Monday morning showing you guys me missing my plants and I've mentioned this before I believe in the last vlog that I published that if you are a fellow plant lover and maybe if you're not necessarily the best at keeping your plants their most healthy happy selves i would highly highly recommend getting the planta app and i'll put a picture of the app icon up here on the screen it is spelled planta as in p-l-a-n-t-a -A. me talking about this app to start this vlog is not sponsored in any way shape or form um but planta if you're watching this sponsor me because <laughs> i love your app so if you've never heard of planta what planta does is it's an app where you input what type of plants you have and you create like little rooms if i'll put a little um swipe of the app as i'm talking about it here but you create different sections of your house like for example in my living room there's like a little section where i have the plants in my living room i have the plants that are in my dining room and you put what plants you have in there and you know you put in the type of light that the room gets and you know if they're repotted or not and all this stuff i believe some of these features like there's like a light meter that you can use you can only get with the upgraded version where you do pay a monthly membership but it's a very cheap monthly membership and for me plants are such an investment and a love of mine like I'm currently sitting in my dining room where I have like my massive monstera and my bird of paradise and you know with the pot and or with the planter and the plant and everything it's a couple hundred dollars that I spent on plants I am going to be living in this house for three years so I, the investment is worth it to me but it's worth it to me also to pay um, a few dollars for a monthly membership to make sure that these plants are happy and healthy. Every day I check the app and the app will tell you, okay, today you need to water this plant and this plant. And today you need to fertilize this one. And today, as you saw, I had to miss five different plants that I have here in my house. And I just found this app invaluable because so many plants, especially if you're someone like me and you have a lot of plants and I'm not even done collecting all the plants that I would like for this home, you know, a lot of them have different watering schedules. Like some of them are like water every three weeks. Some of them are like water every four days. Like what am I gonna do? Put reminders in my phone for all of that. So I just find this app absolutely invaluable. Again, not sponsored, kind of a strange way to start this vlog, but I am a diehard plant lady, plant mom. Hi pickles. <laughs> And I just thought I would mention that because honestly today I don't really have all that much going on If you saw my last vlog, which was my birthday week vlog You'll know that like the week started off awesome And then I went a little bit hard on my birthday as someone who doesn't drink And the rest of the week just ended up being a total flop for me because of being hungover and then just being exhausted and all that stuff So on this fabulous Monday, I am sort of doing a little bit of catch up from that I am editing two videos today, actually. I am currently editing my spring, Pickles is licking my hand. I'm currently editing my spring dresses video, which I'll link up above here. And then right after I'm done editing that one, I will be working on my vlog week four, I believe the vlog before this one. So I'm a little bit late on my uploads, but it's okay. I've just learned that I really needed to rest last week. And so this week, uh, aside from today, and aside from, I believe Thursday, when I'll be filming a tour of this dining room, I'm gonna be out doing Instagram content to catch up a little bit. And I'm really motivated, really excited. So honestly, I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I just wanted to give you a little check-in because like I said, the rest of the day, it's just gonna be video editing. So I hope you enjoyed my little plant mom spiel. Again, if you are a plant person, I could not recommend it enough. I used to kill my plants all the time because I would be overwatering them because I'd be like, I love you, I enjoy watering you. Here's more water. And they'd be like drowning and rotting. <laughs> take more um so highly highly recommend that app pickles has to uh give a little war cry before he jumps on his bed but anyway i will talk to you guys tomorrow for a day of instagram content and maybe even a little lunch out with the girls not sure yet we'll see so see you tomorrow good morning friends happy tuesday and i look a little fancy today because i am finally taking the opportunity to shoot the monica vinegar jewelry pieces that i have on which include this necklace these earrings and this ring i have on i don't think that's gonna focus there you go. <laughs> um, I was planning on shooting these last week, but if you saw my last week's vlog, and I might have mentioned it yesterday, so forgive me if I'm beating a dead horse, but I just was a bit thrown off because of my birthday, and I really wanted to make this Monica Vinader Instagram collaboration. Today I'm doing uh, photos at Heisler Park and I'm gonna come home after having lunch out with the girls and do a super fun little reel at home, and I just really want 
these um, this photo and this reel to be top quality because I'm so grateful and honored that Monica Vinader reached out to me to work with me. So really want to put my best foot forward with that. So I guess I'll just quickly, I'll put up the reel on the screen here of what I end up doing, probably without music because I don't want to get copyrighted or anything. I must say really quickly, actually before I show you the outfit, I'm really happy with this eye makeup that I did today. I've been trying to branch out with my eye makeup and do more colorful looks as I'm sure you've seen if you've been a subscriber of mine for a little bit now. And my color scheme for March is always green on Instagram. And so if I'm wearing an outfit like this where there's like no visible green in it, I like to sort of bring out the green in my makeup. And I have done a few looks lately that I've just like not been well blended, not been um, very nice because like what I do is I save inspiration on Instagram and I try to recreate it but I am no Desi Perkins I am no uh, Jamie Genevieve you know <laughs> so I just doing my best out here this one was actually inspired by an I love Sarahi look I've never actually said her name out loud I'll put the picture of the inspiration here I know it's not the exact same because I am going to lunch with the girls today and I always if you're not if you're not new here, if you've been here before, you know that I try to mix in my lunches, my Tuesday lunches with my girlfriends with my shooting days and I feel like I always show up. That means that I always show up to lunch with like a full sm colorful smoky eye and I'm like this is casual. <laughs> so, anyway, let me just show you my outfit before I blabber on too much. Real simple outfit here because the focus of the photos are going to be sort of from the chest up to show off the jewelry that I have on and I do have a blazer to throw on over just in case it's a little bit cold and I don't know what the walk is going to be like you know from my car to the park. So this dress is a Zara find from last year and I love it so much. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see the back, but it is essentially a backless deep V slip dress that fits me perfectly. For reference, I am five foot four, so I have a hard time with really long slip dresses sometimes, but I absolutely love this style. Normally, I don't go for a deep V look because I don't really have like the biggest chest ever and I'm just not really the kind of person that typically likes to have my chest on show this much even though to be fair this is quite modest compared to a lot of the things I see on social media these days but I just feel so confident in this dress I really really love it and it's something that I like to wear on like hotter days and anyway let me quickly get into the shoes these are a I believe a boohoo pair of shoes I think they're yeah I think they're boohoo they're just like as you can see they're like those little heel kind of almost flip-flop style heels that were really really big last year especially last summer so I picked up a pair on boohoo because they are a more trendy silhouette and I don't like spending a lot of money on more trendy shapes and then as you can see, I just put my hair up in a little claw clip because I want to keep the focus on, you know, I'm going to be posing like this, you know, like mm, doing jewelry and jewelry photos. <laughs> okay, well, before I embarrass myself further, I'm going to move on and I will see you guys later today, hopefully. Happy Wednesday. I had to think for a second there because I wasn't entirely sure what day of the week it is. And is it just me or does my voice sound like weirdly deep today? I don't know. But um, haven't really gotten up to much today. It's already like 5 p.m. I All I've been up to today was uh, mostly house stuff. Like right now my husband and I are working on regrowing our backyard. Long story short. Oh, something just bumped up against my leg. Hi, Pickles. Um, long story short. Our backyard when we first moved in was like perfectly lush and green. It actually was like kind of overgrown, but we were focusing more on the inside of the house than the outside of the house, so we weren't taking care of it or anything. I I'm gonna sit on the floor because this guy really wants my attention. And I don't understand because the house right next to us has no one living in it right now and their backyard is really, really overgrown and green and lush, but ours died because we weren't watering it. So like, do they only water the grass until you move in and then it's your responsibility? I don't. I don't know, but basically we had to start from scratch because the grass was so dead and thick and matted that my husband had to like rake it up and then 
um, just like, you know, move the soil around and we're doing it from scratch. We're seeding it and watering the seeds. There's like this special grass seed and fertilizer combination that you can buy. So we've been doing that. And so I spent like a good portion of this morning, like maintaining that, laying down more seed, watering it, reorganizing the garage. We have like just random house stuff. Um, super exciting though. Tomorrow I am going to be filming my first ever room tour for this house, which is the dining room, which I've been sort of alluding to and you've probably seen me working on through my vlogs. The last piece, which is the drinks refrigerator, is arriving hopefully this afternoon. It's supposed to, it says it's out for delivery, but if it doesn't arrive today, even if it arrives by tomorrow afternoon, it'll be a quick video for me to film. So I'll just, I'm definitely want to do that tomorrow, but I was putting on like last minute touches on the dining room all morning. I've been cleaning it. There he is. <laughs> oh, hush. Hi, are you handsome? <laughs> All right, really quickly, this is my outfit that I'm wearing today. I just wanted to sort of show you guys because I think it's pretty cool. You know, I like dressing up even if it's just for the grocery store. So these jeans, as you can see, are kind of like light and dark, you know? Like, let me show you the butt. <laughs> I love those little pockets. I got these from Revice Denim. It's an LA based denim company. I have like four pairs of their jeans. I love them. They fit my body really well. So if you're on like the shorter side, I'm 5'4 for a reference. I really like their jeans because I don't typically have to cuff them up unless it's like very specific styles that you can tell on the website are like really long and flared. And then I have on my trusty Vans skate highs, my sort of go-to shoes when I want to feel super cool. <laughs> And then I just left on all of my Monica Vinader jewelry that I took the reels in today because it worked with this outfit. Just some little aviator, no these aren't aviator, like Ray-Ban style sunglasses, but they're not Ray-Bans. Wayfarers, right? Isn't that what they're called? Ray-Ban Wayfarers? Or am I just thinking of Wayfair because I've been browsing that website obsessively? I don't know. And then I just have on this nasty gal sort of oversized sweatshirt and a super simple ASOS unisex fanny pack that I kind of like to use as a shoulder bag and that's all I have for you guys today I will see you tomorrow Did I expect to start today's vlog at 7.17 p.m.? No, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, honestly, today's been a bit of a day. Pickles is rubbing up against my leg. Hello there, child of mine. Um, today was just another one of those days where I feel like I got a whole bunch of things done that were not on my to-do list, so therefore I got nothing done, but that's just not true. I've been doing stuff all day uh, as far as like email, social media stuff. Um, I got my nails done, as you can see. Wait, will these focus? There we go, I got my nails done because one of them broke off this morning and I was planning on getting them redone anyway. And what else did I do? As you can see from the opening shot of today's vlog footage, I just picked up a ton of alcohol. And no, it is not for me, it is for my husband. As I was saying yesterday, we are getting a drinks fridge for our dining room and it was said it was supposed to arrive yesterday and so therefore I would have filmed my dining room tour today. And I know this lighting is awful, but it's fine. But unfortunately, the fridge did not arrive until today. I just came home to this fridge and obviously it is still here in the box. So kind of bummed out that I wasn't able to film my Thursday video today, but you know what, such is life, things happen. So right now I'm going to take this fridge out of the box, put all the alcohol in it, set up the handles over on my little bar cart over there and then film the tour first thing tomorrow. I did end up like deep cleaning the kitchen and the dining room today. That was one thing that I got done because um, obviously with me filming the tour, I don't want crap like dust and little food bits on the stove and all that stuff that just naturally happens in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, honestly, that's all I'm gonna talk about today. I also went to Lowe's, fun fact, because um, 
I needed to get some, I don't know why I'm stuttering, I needed to get some spackle and like a spackle brush because another thing that I was thinking was gonna get done in the dining room that did not get done was while I was hanging this gallery wall, as you can see, I messed up in one place here. I accidentally hung it a little bit too high. This was the last picture I hung and I messed up just on this one. And then also when I was trying to, that was a very close up shot, when I was trying to hang this hanging fruit basket that was a gift from our in-laws, uh, my husband and I weren't sure if we'd be able to drill, <laughs> how's, this, how's this angle, drill into this sort of little ceiling, I don't know what to call it, like where it sticks out, like as you can see over there, there's, we have the same thing go going on over there, but it is um, for our central heating, but this one over here is no outlet, so we weren't totally sure if we'd be able to drill into it, and there was proof right beneath this sticker here that someone had drilled into it before, but we tried drilling into it ourselves, as you can see there, and we hit like this really thick chunk of wood and we just got really sketched out. We were like, no thank you, don't wanna deal with it in case it is like a structural beam or a, really it is like part of the uh, internal heating and cooling of the house. So we're just, we got this hook on Amazon and I'll go more in depth with it on my house tour that I'm gonna be, or the dining room tour that I'll do tomorrow. And so I'm gonna spackle this hole and the other hole and the housing office for, you know, our military housing. Cause if you're new here, uh, my husband and I are a military family and we do live in military housing. Um, they said when I called them about it oh, a little bit over a week ago now about um, hopefully them being able to patch the holes even though I know how to do it myself. Wow, my cheeks look really red. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I'm all over the place. Even though they said they'd be able to do it themselves, they said because it wasn't urgent and they were in the middle of setting up for um, new residents moving in that they, it would be probably over a week until they could patch the holes and, you know, paint over them. And so I'm gonna wait for them to do the painting part because obviously I'm not gonna go out of my way to like try to match paint colors if they already have the paint on hand because obviously the same of, inside of every house is the same. But I will just spackle the holes before tomorrow's um, tour. They're not super noticeable anyway, and I could always like sort of angle the camera so they're not really obvious, but you know what? Might as well. I was already out and about and just might as well. And then got some more grass seed for the yard outside. Um, it's coming along very nicely. I know I talked about it a little bit before, but we have been trying to grow our backyard out, and luckily today it is pouring rain or unluckily because it made me feel super demotivated to do anything, but you know, it's cool. I still got a lot of house stuff and other stuff done today. Woo, sorry, wobbly camera. Last thing I picked up from Lowe's, I don't know how this turned into a Lowe's haul, but whatever. Last thing I picked up from Lowe's is this sort of clear, I don't know what you would call it, saucer. It's called a 12 inch deep saucer. And this is for the Monstera that I have over here in the corner. I've picked up some other versions of these saucer guys for different plants. Like for example, the Bird of Paradise and this guy over here because the pots that they were in, I guess I just didn't pay attention to it at the time or like I just didn't think about it. They had holes in the bottom and that wouldn't be a big deal if they were all outside, but obviously they're all indoors. And this guy wasn't even repotted. Like I repotted all these guys and I just put like the different sizes of the little saucers underneath and I'm just very careful not to overwater them so they don't sit in their own water for too long and the roots rot. But this guy here, this Monstera, he came in this pot, or this this isn't a pot, this like woven basket was what they had him in in this like on display at the local nursery that I went to and I didn't see any other planters that I really really liked and I think this this was like 12 bucks or something and I feel like it kind of goes with the jungly theme I'm lifting up the plant leaves <laughs> it kind of goes with the jungly theme of the dining room but as you can see it's still in like that cheap plastic pod that you get when you first pick up a plant. So I will be replanting him at one point or repotting him at one point. I just, after I tackled that big guy over there, I was not in the mood. And again, I couldn't find a planter that I was obsessed with. So um, anyway, what happened was I tried to water him when I first got home and I thought I was being very conservative with the amount of water that I was using, but I turned around after watering him and there was this huge puddle of waters all over the floor all the way like past the cat food, not to show you the gross cat food. And I was like, holy crap, like water damage alert. Luckily we didn't get any water damage, but I was still like, oh my gosh, like I do not want to experience that again. I would hate to get water damage. So I'm just going to set him in that little clear saucer. But yeah, that's all I'm really up to for today. Maybe I'll continue my Avengers movie watching tonight. I am up to Doctor Strange, so. 
maybe that's gonna be it for the rest of my night tonight but yeah that's all i have tomorrow you know I was, again i was supposed to be shooting content today i was supposed to be shooting content tomorrow for instagram and that typically entails me like going places and having like a cooler vlog where i can like show you different locations but Again, it's just one of those weeks where like you're getting all this stuff done, but it's not the cool stuff that you thought you'd get done. It's the stuff that you need to get done because you're an adult now. Anyone else? Any other 24 year olds out there experiencing this? I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Target for one thing. Yes. Did I walk out of Target with like seven things? Absolutely. <laughs> Let me adjust you real quick. Okay, so as you can see, I am looking quite fancy and Pickles is about to join me here. And that is because I'm actually filming my dining room tour, or I'm about to. But where I left you off last night was before I had realized that there was a bit of an issue. Long story short, I ordered that drinks fridge and it's amazing, you know, it's very highly rated on Amazon, it looks great, it's really cool, but the place where I originally wanted to put it, it fit widthways, like it slotted into the spot just fine, but so it was right next to the side table. And you'll see this in my dining room tour, it's right next to the side table, but it's stuck out past the side table, like into the room, like four inches further. And I didn't, I wasn't smart enough, I guess, to check those measurements on Amazon, which I'm surprised by because normally when I'm ordering furniture and stuff, as I have been over these last few weeks, I'm very careful about measuring out every single aspect. But I think because that was the last piece of the dining room, I was so excited to just get it and finally have one room in the house like checked off as complete because as you know the living room has been done for like a month but except for one piece that's been back ordered and it's not coming until april maybe even may so i was just so desperate to get one of the rooms in our house like officially checked off that i didn't check that measurement and so everything's okay everything is fine now but basically what ended up happening is i had to rearrange like 50% of the furniture in the dining room to make it work and it looks amazing now but what ended up happening is the bar cart that we had from our old place is too big for the spot that it needed to go in now because everything got changed around so last minute last night I went on this like ordering scramble to see if I could buy online and pick up in store any bar cards pickles has no idea what he wants to do right now um and i did find one that worked amazingly on world market so i picked that up today but unfortunately i was planning on filming this video like first thing in the morning the home tour or the the dining room tour video but because the world market store that i went to didn't open until 11 and they didn't fill my order until 12 like I still haven't filmed the video yet and it's like 2 p.m. So that's fine. I mean, I just, I feel guilty that I'm gonna have another Thursday video be late, but if I'm being honest with myself, I'm doing an Instagram post every single day. I'm doing reels at least once a week, most of the time, twice a week. I'm doing two videos on YouTube every week and I'm a one woman show. So I really shouldn't be beating myself up about this because it was out of my control, essentially. The fridge came late and then when it did come, it was wrong and I had to change everything. So while I was out and about, this is where I'm getting to the target part. <laughs> I'm on a tangent. Uh, while I was out and about doing the world market shopping, or last night actually when I was doing the world market shopping I was like you know what while I'm doing home shopping the next room that I'm furnishing as I'm sure I've told you before is this room that I'm currently sitting in which is going to be like a formal sitting room I was going online and I was like oh like let me just sort of start looking at what order I want to buy the pieces in for the living or for the sitting room what makes sense and that mirror is something that I've had saved on the Target website and that I wanted to have in this room. I've, I've, I've saved that knowing that I wanted this exact mirror to be in this room since like November or December. But I guess I didn't realize it at the time that I was like making my mood boards and planning stuff that this is not available for shipping online or at least it's not currently. Maybe it was in the past but at, at this time Target is not shipping this mirror to, um, to people's homes that you can only pick it up in store and it just so happened that there was only one available within 50 miles of where I live and so I was like holy crap I gotta go get that so I went and bought that and I'm super I feel really grateful that I was able to find it because what if I had you know had my heart set on it and I couldn't get it because this style mirror is really popular right now so this is a target haul now 
It is, it's called like a farmhouse style mirror and it's kind of hard to tell if you see yourself. Hi camera. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, and you can also see the cat too, so that's funny. But it's curved, so it kind of looks like a farmhouse window. But these types of mirrors are selling for so expensive online and I believe this one was like 70 bucks. And I know that still sounds expensive, but like I've seen the vast majority of this type of mirror, if you want it to be like a good looking mirror that's not like, I don't know, kind of cheap looking, are like hundreds of dollars. So that's why I knew I had to go to this Target and pick up the last one. And as one does when going to Target, I was like, hmm, let me just browse the home section. And to be fair, I'm in the middle of decorating my house. So if the house was completely done, I would never just browse the home section of Target because if you are like me, the home section of Target is very dangerous because the sort of style of home decor that Target has really been pushing since they've taken on um, the Chip and Joanna Gaines line, uh, the homeware line, Hearth and Home. Hearth and Home, is that it? Hearth and Home by Magnolia? I might be making that up. I'm not like a super fan of theirs, but I do like their style. So much, of, so many of the Target pieces are so up my alley and they're really inexpensive and they are good quality. Like I do own a lot of the Hearth and, Hearth and Hand? I don't know, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's really easy to find in any Target store. Um, there are some of their pieces like over here on the side. Like I think that part of this like flower arrangement here is from that line. And again, if I was not in a position where I'm currently trying to decorate my home, I would never go there because it's like cracked me. <laughs> but luckily for me, I did go and I'm so glad that I did because I found some incredible stuff. So let me just wrap up this haul for today and be very quick. Let me start with the things that are not by Chip and Joanna Gaines. And the first three things that I got, they're all the same thing, but in different styles. I got these fake fruit fillers. Let me see if I can hold them all. Oh, this is, this is cute. <laughs> um, so as you can see, I got fake pears, fake limes, and fake lemons. There's multiple places in the kitchen and the dining room, three places actually, where there's like a fruit bowl or like a hanging fruit basket or something. And I'm not enough, like like my husband and I combined cannot make our way through enough fresh fruit to like justify having fresh fruit in like multiple places in our kitchen and dining room. So these are awesome. They actually look really realistic. Not so much the lines, they're a little bit dark. They almost look like avocados, honestly, but I'm super glad that I picked these up. They were 10 bucks each. And actually the only two things that I, Hearth and Hand by Magnolia. The only two things that I picked up by Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, please zoom in so that you can see that, um, is this candle. It is the cardamom and vetiver, vetiver? Oh, it smells really good. I'm not even gonna attempt to describe that smell, but um, basically my plan for this room, as I've told you before, is up against this wall. I'm gonna have a big bookshelf from Ikea that I have yet to order, but that's what all these like little decoration-y bits on the side are for. It's gonna be like a bookshelf that I also have like plants in, and I'm also gonna put some candles in there, and I'm gonna put some fake plants in there as well because I'm not exactly sure how much light this room gets because it is pretty deep back into the room um, and so I don't want to I want to have like a ton of plants on this bookshelf but I just think it's too risky and too expensive to have like a ton of oh my gosh I just picked up a candle and now I'm talking about plants sorry my mind's all over the place this is what I'm talking about this is another hearth in hand with magnolia purchase as you can see it's just some little fake please zoom in there we go. It's just some little fake flowers and I have a few other sort of small fake flowery type vases just like it um, over there as you can see. And so again, I, I really want like a ton of greenery in that bookshelf, but I just don't want to have like 15 plants in there. Like to me, I love plants, but that's just asking for like seven of them to die honestly. So I got a bunch of, I have a bunch of these. So I thought I would add this to the collection because I have a feeling that when the bookshelf is actually in, I'm not gonna have enough stuff to fill it. And I don't want to be scrambling to just buy like junk that doesn't mean anything to me to fill up this bookshelf. So these two things are going to be bookshelf fillers so i'll put those over there waiting for the ikea bookshelf to get ordered and last but not least i picked up this throw blanket from casa luna i hope you can see that okay it looks like it's focused but as you can see it's this really really thickly knit 
throw blanket like it's a very very loose like I'm not sure how obvious this is but like there's like big holes in the blanket um, it is a oversized hand knit bed throw and the reason that I've picked this up is because um, right now I am focusing on furnishing the downstairs and we're very very close obviously it's just this last room left before I start working my way upstairs but our bedroom has like no decoration going on in it whatsoever and at our old place we used to have a throw blanket at the end of the bed and it just added such a luxurious feel and we call our bed the cloud because I'm not sure if you've seen it before maybe I've shown it in vlogs but we have all white linens and all white comforter it's nothing expensive I honestly think they were hand-me-downs from Mario's parents no they weren't the comforter was a hand-me-down but I bought the sheets at Target and we just love it. We love our bed so much. I'm gonna pick up a headboard from CB2 that is like a white quilted headboard as well. And so, cause we just, we just really like waking up on like a weekend morning to like this all white, super fluffy cloud. So this will add to that experience and it'll sort of spice, I don't wanna say spice up the bedroom because the thing about this is like spice up the bedroom worthy. But if you are in the market for a good throw for like your couch or your bedroom i would highly recommend going to target they have like the softest you can, you can go at target they have everything they have like super super soft to the touch throws they have like pattern throws they have ones like this that just add like texture and like a look and i've actually seen this cataluna castaluna at target range recommended by like four youtubers now which is crazy because like it's a bedding range at target like there's and like the, the girls that I've been watching that have been talking about this. They're like multi-million dollar earning, you know, influencer content creator girls. And they're still going to Target and raving about this Casa Luna bedding and throw stuff. So I'm really, really excited to try this out. But I just thought this would be a nice way to sort of make me feel like there's a little bit more effort going into the way that the bedroom looks. So I don't feel so like, ah, when I wake up in the morning and the place is like, totally empty like nothing on the walls no cool decor or anything but yeah i will talk to you guys tomorrow for an instagram content creation day so hopefully that'll be a bit more glamorous i believe there'll be a swimsuit involved though i'm not sure i'm gonna be vlogging that <laughs> bye for now Good morning guys, happy Saturday, and I look quite dressed up today because as I mentioned earlier, I am going to be going out and taking Instagram photos today. So I've already taken the first one, which I'll put up here. I took two different ones actually in a little swimsuit that I'm going to be unboxing or hauling in my next sit down video. So that'll be next Thursday, assuming everything arrives, which is so frustrating because I feel like so many things are on back order these days, but I know that's just like a side effect of COVID. So I feel I shot that. And then now I'm going to take a photo in this outfit, which I will either put up here or I'll put on the screen later if I take B-roll of the area. And then I'm gonna be shooting another photo. So let me quickly show you this outfit because it's so cute and I'm really, really obsessed with it. Okay, so I don't think you guys have seen this skirt before on my channel. This is yet another one of those purchases that I made when I got my first adult job and I had my first adult money as I like to call it last year at the very beginning of 2020 and I intended to wear it you know to the office because obviously it is an office appropriate little skirt number then the world shut down so I never really got a chance to do that but I believe this skirt is actually from ASOS and I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to tell but there's two seams that go down it at like a diagonal and it's really cool obviously it is a polka dot skirt but it's almost like cut on the bias i know it's not actually cut on the bias but what i'm trying to say is that even though it is a maxi length sort of slip skirt it, i feel like it just really fits and hugs my body in a very flattering way and i'm really really obsessed with it so again asos they come in clutch i feel like i'm always showing you guys my outfits and saying how many pieces are from asos definitely love asos for like very specific needs like i was looking for a polka dot skirt when i found this one um this little crew neck sweater i thrifted a while ago i believe in montana i just have on this pearl earring and matching pearl bracelet or pearl necklace matching pearl bracelet and pearl earrings from i think my mom actually gave these to me and then i just have on my adidas superstars and i'm not going to show you my bag yet that i'm wearing for the outfit you'll see it if you follow me over on my instagram the bag that i want to shoot today is going to be something that i want to officially reveal in that thursday next thursday's haul video so i'm going to hold off on showing you that but it's very very exciting so be sure to follow me over on my instagram to check it out it's a bit of an upgrade for of something that
that I've really really had my eye on for a while now but yeah that's all I have for this outfit I'm gonna go take you along with me as I take some photos and I'm gonna go pick up my Gucci loafers that I had resold and I'll show you I'll talk more about that when I get there but bye for now I just thought I would catch up with you because I just finished taking all of the photos that I was planning on taking today. Um, I'll put up the photos here that I took in this gorgeous dress by Beginning Boutique. It's an Australian based boutique that I just found out about recently um, via Instagram and some other like influencers and stuff that I follow and I'm obsessed. But if you're curious about this dress, I am actually gonna be officially like hauling it and talking about it in this haul video that's coming up next week that I keep talking about. But the reason why I wanted to check in is because I just picked up my Gucci loafers from, I'm looking at the store right now, it's called Euro Shoe Repair here in San Diego. And I've never taken my shoes to a restory or a leather repair store before, but I've seen other members, uh, other members of YouTube, what am I talking about? I've seen other YouTubers that are specifically in the luxury goods like segment of YouTube, like the girls that focus on like luxury handbags and luxury shoes and luxury ready to wear and all that. I love watching those creators because even though I'm not quite in that tax bracket yet, it, it gives me a lot of information. And so when I do start um, being able, when I, so, when I am able to purchase those goods, I know that my decision will be a lot more well informed than just buying, you know, the latest trendy designer bag. Anyway, a lot of those girls um, recommend, you know, or at least they talk regularly about like getting their bags repaired or um, preparing their new shoes and taking them to a cobbler before they even wear them because they're designer shoes and they're expensive and they want to take care of them or prevent future wear. So I'm gonna pop a picture up here of what these loafers looked like before and this is what they look like now. So I'm keeping them to the side so that I can keep up the image that I have of them but as you can see they are polished they still have these creases in the front but I'll get to that in a second and they got completely new I don't know what you would call the soles yeah these are called soles <laughs> and um, I would highly highly recommend Euro shoe repair if you happen to be in the San Diego area and you have some shoes or leather goods that you want to get repaired because um, the guy that worked there um, I'm assuming he's the owner he was really really like well I don't want to say well informed he kept me well informed of what he was doing so for example he said that he extended the sole of the shoe out like a few millimeters farther so that it, pre it prevented um, the wearing on the toe caps that I was getting because I guess because of the way I walk is what he was explaining to me I must like kind of really roll my feet forward because the front of the shoe was starting to see some wear and I'm really glad that he actually was able to sort of extend the sole a little bit and obviously give him these nice um, really well treaded is that how I describe it like there's more tread on the shoes than it was before when it was just like a leather sole and I don't think he had to extend the heels or anything he said that they actually weren't that worn down it was just that his recommendation was in the future like I've seen these other youtubers talk about um, whenever they buy new designer shoes before you even wear them take them to a cobbler or a leather repair person and have them put these like scratchy soles on them before you even wear them out because like I said the soles themselves weren't that worn down it was just that the top layer of them had worn off and so I was like sliding around whenever I wore these but anyway, onto the wrinkles on the front here. Um, super awesome. He recommended, I wish I caught his name, but the owner of the Euro shoe repair store that I went to here in San Diego, he said that these wrinkles are because of, this is gross, moisture that my feet produce when wearing these. And he said that's normal for people that wear leather shoes. And he knows that people don't wear socks with these types of shoes because it's like really hard to get no-show socks for these guys. Maybe I'll try to find some after he told me that the reason the leather crinkles basically is because I've had these shoes for so long that um like i said the sweat <laughs> my feet sweat essentially which i'm not even gonna be ashamed about because i know everyone's feet sweat especially if you've worn shoes like these with no socks and the rolling motion on my foot when i'm walking creates these like indents this is a very weird angle for my um 
arm, but the, so you see how the indents are kind of like, like the toes are pointing up a little bit. So he's special ordering me some cedar blocks that he said will um, be a really good way for me to store these. So I'm super, super excited for that. I just, I really appreciate good customer service. And now that I'm sort of dipping my toes into the luxury market with, um, you know, I've had these guys, these were a gift for my dad, but I just really, really want to take good care of them. I don't want these to be shoes that I only own for like a few years. Like I want to keep these around as long as possible. I realize this is not the most riveting topic, but I just thought I would talk about it in case anyone that is watching is also a lover of designer goods like me. And I will see you guys tomorrow for what is honestly going to be just a full blown YouTube editing day. So I probably won't have anything too exciting to share with you tomorrow, but Anyway, I'll see you then. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday, and I'm gonna apologize. You're most likely gonna be able to hear the dishwasher in the background, but I'm really grateful that I have officially finished editing my tour of the kitchen and dining room because it means that I can finally vlog in here and not have to like keep it a secret from you guys. So Pickles is bumping my leg for attention, but I just wanted to wrap up the vlog here because as I mentioned yesterday, today is just a double editing day. I'm, I, as I said, I finished the dining room tour edits and that will be uploaded today. Pickles needs to give a big meow before he jumps up onto his hanging bed in this room. It's very strange. Um, and then I'm going to edit this vlog now. So that's all I have for this week. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like if you haven't already and subscribe below if you haven't already. Um, it would really mean the world to me. I have just surpassed 200 subscribers, which is really, really exciting to me because it feels like just yesterday that I was trying to hit my first 100. So I'm hoping this growth is exponential, you know, knock on wood. Um, and again, follow me over on my Instagram if you want to see more day in the life stuff from me, more day to day stuff, uh, more of my fashion content, all that kind of stuff. I have a very, very exciting vlog planned for next week. Um, which I'm actually preparing for tonight. I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil it a little bit I am headed to Palm Springs tomorrow for a little day trip to get a bunch of content for my Instagram and for my YouTube So that's all I have for today and for this vlog and I will see you guys next week. Bye